Well, it's grocery haul time again, and I'm going to be doing this over uh, several days, maybe even weeks. This video is part of a collaboration named Foodie Grocery Haul, and it's hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Deborah Cabasa Home Living. Information about both those channels are in the description box below. The hashtag is foodiehaul24, and new videos and playlists come out every month. So the first place I went to was actually a couple days ago, and I was at um, Walmart. I got ballpark uh, hot dog buns and ballpark hot dogs, and I've been having them. I've had three of them over the last four days. The rest in the freezer. <laughs> you can overdose on those things, but they're really good. Um, so I got those and um, have enjoyed them. But I needed to bring some more vegetables and produce into my diet. Uh, because I'm eating a lot of salads, but I want more. So I went to my local grocery store and got a head of cabbage. This was almost $2, if you can believe it, but it, it's really great quality. I wanted to get some more uh, vegetables there, but they were so expensive. I'm planning to go to Grocery Outlet for the first time in a long time and um, in the next couple of days, because I'll be in the area and I'm gonna see what else they have. I want to make um, some stir fries and uh, some homemade egg rolls and they have the egg roll wrappers, at least they used to at the grocery outlet and maybe I can get a green cabbage there too. The green cabbages I think were $1.29 but this was just a beautiful specimen. Um, I'm buying not just for price but also for nutrition. I also got a small container of Crisco. This was $5.99 at the local store. I've Use Cris Crisco every once in a long while. I bought a big can years ago and I still have it. I don't know if it's good or it's not good. I'm keeping it for other things in case I need to make an emergency candle or something like that. That's still in there. But for eating, this is um, this is a size I can use. So today was grocery outlet day. I was at the county seat and they have a grocery outlet there. So I stepped in. I've been avoiding grocery outlet for the past year because it's just too tempting. But I went in there with a list and there's a couple, well, one thing at least that I needed um, that I was able to get there. So let's check that out. Okay. I got celery. I love celery. I like to stir fry with it and put it um, in tuna salad and this, that, and the other. Put that over there. <laughs> a little out of space here. Um, I got a green cabbage, it was about, I think 99 cents a pound. I don't know how much of a pound this was, but um, I'm gonna use it together with my red cabbage to make uh, a stir fry and also egg rolls. And grocery outlet's the only place I know that actually has egg roll wrappers. So I got these for that. It's gonna be kind of a task. I do it tomorrow, start in the morning. Um, and they had peppers at a really good price. Four for five dollars, the orange and the yellow, the red and the green were more expensive. So I got two of two of each. So I like to eat these instead of bread, sometimes with cheese and chopped up in tuna salad. And uh, I'm gonna add some to my stir fry and egg rolls. And I've got yogurt. I'm almost done with my uh, Costco yogurt, so this will be good. It's Greek yogurt. And finally, I got cashews halves and pieces. Unfortunately, they're salted, but that's okay. I don't use a ton of them. When I make stir fries, I like to have a little bit of crunch, and cashews are great for that. My whole uh, bill from Grocery Outlet was about $23, and there's enough food there for a while for me. <laughs> well, let's finish up the uh, food haul. Two or three days ago, I did the food bank, and if you saw my food bank video, it was very grueling. Heat wave, we're still in the heat wave. And I still had some chores to do, so um, I went to Dollar Tree. I mainly went to get two bags of pretzels because I'm going to an event in a couple days and I was going to make chocolate covered pretzels for those, chocolate dipped, and uh, one of them. And then the other one I'm setting aside for a future because I don't go to Dollar Tree very often. While I was there, I was so hungry. Um, we had done that food bank and I brought a snack and the snack wasn't enough. So I was looking around um, Dollar Tree for something to eat and I, my default used to be potato chips and I was like, I can't do that. Um, so I ended up finding this four pack of uh, shelf stable pudding cups and they were great. I ate two of them 
um, in the car. <laughs> and it, it just kept me going until I got home because I'm about 35 minutes away from um, Dollar Tree and I was already really hungry. I had drinks, I had iced tea I'd made in the, in the car and everything, but oh my gosh, it really held me. And then the other two, I went to Costco yesterday and the same thing happened. I had a full day of things and the last thing I had to do was Costco. Same thing happened. I was ran out of snacks. I was starving. So I finished the two little um, pudding cups also in the car and it kept me from buying a hot dog or a pizza at Costco. I was really thinking about it. And then I thought, you know, the salt content's really high and I'm really trying to not do that sort of stuff anymore. I sort of have a, a rule about eating out now and I eat out for pleasure fun company I don't eat out because I'm hungry because I make mistakes when I eat out when I'm hungry and it's just a waste to eat out a full meal when you're hungry because when you're hungry it's usually been a long day you're rushed you want to get home you're not enjoying the meal and so I just don't don't I try to avoid doing that at this point I eat out for fun and it's an experience so fortunately um, I was able, I had those, along with my stack, I had those pudding cups and it staved me off till I got home. So at Costco, I'm going to go through the things I have in uh, the refrigerator. I take pictures of them because I started to do the video yesterday when I um, came back from Costco and it was like 100 degrees and I was so hot and so exhausted and I couldn't leave stuff out. So put everything away. We're going to do it right now. I have some photos. So I got this yogurt, Bellwether Farms. I usually get the Kirkland Greek yogurt, but this was a local farm that was trying to get into Costco. It's a farm out of Petaluma. I was in um, the Ronit Park, Costco. Ronit Park is right next door to Petaluma. So it was the it came out to the same price. I think the, um, pretty much the Greek yogurt's like, I want I looked it up even. I think it's 48 ounces and this was were two, 32 ounces for eight dollars so it was it, you know once i think you went through the per ounce it was pretty close they they um break down the prices there so you can see what's actually the best deal even with different um different prices and different amounts so i got that and what i like about it is that it's in two containers when you get the big container you open the big container then you know it's open <laughs> i do use the big containers for a garden compost or storing a yeast dough and stuff like that but it's kind of nice to have the smaller container so i'm going to try these I, I did try them as a sample in the store they were good so um i got those i got a big container of mayonnaise and i do use a lot of mayonnaise over the summer potato salads and all sorts of stuff tuna i just use a lot of mayo i go through mayo pretty fast um apples i think these are the kid size apples the fuji with the mickey mouse on them i like them because the apples are smaller i think there's nine or ten apples in there lettuce i always get lettuce i think it was uh 449 something like that and um six lettuce heads they last well in the um in the refrigerator and if you're ever looking for a high protein green Romaine lettuce has a lot of protein in it. I always get eggs too, and I picked up eggs uh, for $4.49 also, I believe, um, uh, for two dozen eggs. I actually have a uh, mocha cappuccino in the pantry still. I've repackaged it, but I'm not sure what I'm going back to Costco for now, so I just got an extra one. Um, I got ranch seasoning again with the mayonnaise um i like ranch so i thought well i'll just get ranch seasoning i believe this was ten dollars i'll be using it you know as long as i can um chicken of the sea chunk light tuna this is seven ounces a, a container okay so this is interesting and this is something you need to look at when you're getting um tuna fish is this is 12 seven ounce um cans of tuna however drained the drain weight is six ounces <laughs> so when you're you know when you're looking at prices and stuff like that you got to look at okay how much of this is actually tuna of the seven ounces and how much is not i'm actually doing a little bit of research on tuna and how it's packaged and drain weight and regular weight and all that stuff and so i'm looking forward to doing that video for you soon Along with my mocha cappuccino, I like to add some chocolate, and I've been adding cocoa to it. And uh, it's very hard to find cocoa now in the middle of a heat wave in June. 
So uh, I thought I'd try Nestle's Quick, and this was $8.99. I think it'll be probably the same thing. You know, between this being, okay, let's call it $9, and we'll call the other one $12. That's $21 for my chocolate and for my mocha. I don't know how many cups I get out of it, but if I were to go to Starbucks and get a mocha cappuccino, um, uh, medium size, it would cost me probably $7, including tip. So between this and the other, I've spent $21, and that's three uh, coffee shop mocha cappuccinos and countless home ones. Finally, I picked up some potatoes, five pounds of small creamer potatoes, $9.99. I know that is expensive, five pounds of potatoes, but I cannot eat 10 pounds of potatoes. Uh, it will take me forever to eat 10 pounds of potatoes, so I thought I like my potatoes. I'm gonna get five pounds of potatoes. I'm gonna spend a little more on the type of potato I like, and I'm gonna keep them in the refrigerator because uh, the other ones ended up sprouting in the kitchen. And now that it's summer, these will sprout even faster. <laughs> anyway, hope that your cooking is going well, your eating's going well, and everything's going well. Thank you so much for watching.